everyone, I am Marvin Needham's library assistant here at the Seeking Public Library and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make three reader-friendly snacks for our great summer readathon. And I want to get started off by uh, thanking the Institute of Museum and Library Services as well as the Texas State Library and Archives Commission for helping fund part of this program and providing us with supplies and a grant to be able to do these kinds of videos. So let's go ahead and get started. So our first snack that we have today is probably the most reader-friendly snack and that it's tidy, you don't have to get your fingers messy if you prep it all in advance. So this is all stuff that you can do either the morning of or the day before and put it in the fridge and have it ready to go whenever you start your readathon. So that way you don't have to stop and get into the kitchen, clean up after yourself and all of that when you're trying to get as much reading time as you can. So this first one is actually just some snack skewers. And you can get just any kind of uh, munchy fruits and vegetables, some cheese squares, I've got some grapes here and you can get a toothpick. So you could just have these chopped up snacks available, you know, and ready and fresh, ready to snack on whenever you're reading. But I think it's fun and also just easy to have them on a skewer. So you can just take some cheese, some grapes, maybe an apple, and just skewer them and have them set aside and ready to go. So that way when you're reading, you can just grab one of the skewers and just start munching without having to get any of your fingers messy and all of that preparation's done in advance. So that's probably the easiest and cleanest uh, reader-friendly snack that we have so far for today. And now our next snack is a little more messy, and I'm going to go ahead and get it going in the microwave while I explain to you what's in it. But this is uh, Puppy Chow or uh, Muddy Buddies. There's lots of different names that it comes by, uh, but basically what's in it is in the microwave for one minute I've got going a cup of chocolate chips a half a cup of peanut butter or any of your favorite nut butters will do um, and then a quarter cup of butter and so that's going to melt in the microwave and whenever that's done I've got a bowl here that's got some Czech cereal and some pretzels I did about um, so the recipe usually calls for about nine cups of Czech cereal here I did six cups of Czech cereal and then about two cups of pretzels and I find that gives me a good kind of chocolatey coating on there you know it's not too thin not too thick uh, just how I like it and then in this bag I've got about a cup and a half of powdered sugar you can add more if you like it more powdery I tried an air on the side of less powdery because again we're gonna be reading you don't want the powder going everywhere all over your book and this one is a little bit messier so you still do want to have a paper towel on hand Let's see how this is going we'll mix this up and take a look so that's pretty well melted. I'm just going to mix it together before we add it into our bowl. You want to make sure it's not lumpy and that your chocolate chips are completely melted. If you need to, you can put it in the microwave for another 30 seconds or so until it's all melted. Still a little clumpy, so I'm going to put it in just for a few more seconds. And while that goes, I just want to remind everybody um, to make sure if you're doing the Great Summer Readathon that you print off your bingo your book stack bingo board and fill it out with whatever you're reading. I've still got a few more squares. I want to try and get a blackout with my book list. So I think I'll probably pick a biography. Um, that's maybe something that I can learn with because that's another thing that's on here. Um, and maybe read it with a friend, who knows, or read one of mine with my friends. So that way I can complete my book stack bingo board. This should be ready to go now. Give it one more mix. This one's really quick and simple. If you've got a sweet tooth, it's really yummy. Again, um, I'll probably talk about this in my video tomorrow about getting ready for your readathon. But when you're going for snacks during your readathon, you don't want to go with anything too sweet and sugary, especially with your drinks as well. Um, because, of course, you know, with that sugar buzz, you'll get some energy for just a second, but then once you crash, that's no fun if you're up late at night trying to stay up for the full 24 hours. Then again, you don't have to stay up all 24 hours if you don't want to. It's just kind of challenging yourself to read as much as you can. So that is pretty smooth. I'm happy with that. So I'll go ahead and mix that in. And if you like some more peanut butter, you can add more peanut butter. If you like it more chocolatey, you can add more chocolate. Um, 
if you like dark chocolate, you can go with dark chocolate. I did kind of a mix of dark and milk chocolate because that's what I would like. And this makes quite a bit. And this freezes really well too. So if you make too much for just yourself to finish or if you don't have anybody to help you finish it or you don't want to give it to anybody um, or save it for later even, it freezes really well in just a plastic Tupperware. So I'm going to mix this up, uh, being careful not to crush the cereal in here because we want those whole chunky pieces. We want to completely cover them. So here they're starting to look covered, but you want it to make sure you get chocolate everywhere because that's what's going to help the powdered sugar stick. Okay, so now everything's got a good bit of chocolate mixed into it. So now what I'm going to get is my bag of powdered sugar and start spooning as much as I can in here. And we'll shake it up and mix it to cover all the pieces. All that powdered sugar at the bottom, so you just want to shuffle it around until it's all covered. Now let's pour this out and see what it looks like. I, you can also put this on a baking sheet and put it in the freezer for a couple seconds to really help those pieces set up separately. But mine's pretty well cooled down so I can pour it out. That makes a really good uh, sweet snack if you just need an extra boost of energy really quick. If it's late at night and you just need something to get you through, <laughs> get you through a rough patch, that'll do it. And it's so yummy. Now if you want something that's a little more grown up, it's still very reader friendly, a bit healthy um, and light. I've got a Greek layer dip here for you guys. And so I'm making mine with store-bought hummus and tzatziki, which I just got from the deli area. But you can also make your own tzatziki at home. If you get um, some Greek yogurt, you can just get one of those, um, the, the small single serve cups of Vaya yogurt, you know, that's 100% um, Greek yogurt and mix that up with some minced garlic, about a, a clove of minced garlic, a squeeze of lemon juice, some chopped dill, and you'll get some cucumbers and grate them with a cheese grater and squeeze out as much water as you can. Mix that all up together and you can add some salt and pepper too to taste and you've got some really easy tzatziki sauce. And that'll probably only take, I wouldn't even say a whole cucumber, maybe about half a cucumber. Um, so to make my dip, once we've got our tzatziki, you get your hummus, and it can be any flavor. I've just got the plain one here. And you'll just spoon some into your bowl. You can make a bigger dip if you have friends and family too that want to join you in your readathon. Or even if somebody else just wants a snack as well, you can share. I've just got a little single serve dish for me here of that hummus. And we'll put a layer of our tzatziki. And you can top it off with all kinds of things. Um, what I've got here today is I've got some chopped olives and cucumbers with some garlic. You could do some roasted tomatoes too, I think would be really good. Some like sun-dried tomatoes from a can. Um, I've got some seasonings on top, some sesame seeds and some feta cheese. So I'm just going to layer that on, sprinkle on some feta, I really love feta cheese so I'm going to put quite a bit, and then some seasonings, and some sesame seeds, and you've got your Greek layer dip that you can eat with some slices of cucumbers or some crackers depending on if you're wanting it to be something more light or a little more substantial, um, this is also a really good spread on sandwiches too, believe it or not. It tastes really good. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot one last thing. You can also drizzle some olive oil on top of your layer dip. And that tastes really good with it. There we go. Um, but yeah, so that's all three of our reader-friendly snacks. Again, like I said, if you can think of any else um, that you would like to share with everybody else, Make sure to share those in the comments for our readathon so everybody is ready with our snacks and our food. So that is all that I have got for you today. I hope to see you tomorrow during our readathon. We'll be starting at 6 o'clock and closing off with our closing Zoom at 6 o'clock on Friday. So good luck. Bye-bye.